Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. Okay, Virgo, we have in terms of awareness, we have the page of rods, and we have the seven of rods. So the page of rods is this youthful energy. And this is a case where you may be feeling restless uh, creatively and that you feel that you need to bring new experiences into your life, uh, something to activate your passions, something to engage or to allow yourself to feel engaged. And so this page of rods is looking for opportunities to have fun, to go on adventures, perhaps to travel. This could be something that you are aware of for the week that you maybe want to plan some trips, that you want to sign up for some classes, that you want to maybe take a few courses or classes at the gym, something to reinvigorate yourself. So this page is, is looking for opportunities to engage and to feel, you know, feel the, the wonder and the fullness of life. And with this page here, here we have the seven of rods. And we can see the man here is holding the rod. He is kind of beating back the people who are moving toward him. And this seven of rods goes to uh, defending yourself, protecting yourself. That sometimes, uh, you know, in the course of our normal life, that, that people may question what we say or what we do. And... Uh, you might feel as if you're having to be on the defensive, where you're having to protect or stand your ground and to, um, you know, justify what you're doing at this point in your life or this week, what you hope to do, what you plan to do. Sometimes we encounter naysayers, and those naysayers have a totally different, um, uh, you know, may have a totally different agenda. And this is a case for you to protect your ideas, to defend yourself, your actions, and where you are right now in this life and in this week of not letting yourself um, get off track or get stuck by what others are trying to accomplish. You have the position here. You have the height advantage. You know, there's also a very uh, other simplistic idea here, which is in the uh, interactions with folks, and maybe some are more challenging than others, um, to take the higher ground, you know, to let things go, stay on the high ground with respect to these interactions. So in terms of guidance, We have the Knight of Rods and we have the Three of Cups. And the Knight of Rods is another, uh, it's like leveling up in terms of activity and action and getting involved, doing things, taking charge of your life and what you want to do and bringing passions into your experience. You know, what is it that you love to do? What are you enthusiastic about? Get involved. Don't wait for the perfect time. Make a move. Call a friend. Uh, you know, sign up for a class. The Knight of Rods is about taking action and the spur of the moment. If you get in, an invitation, if you get invited to go somewhere, maybe that's a great idea. You know, it could be a movie. It could be a play. It could be something that you weren't expecting. You know, go for it. Allow yourself to engage and to have fun and to experience. That's what the Knight of Rods wants to do. All the while, still working on passions and the things that are, you know, that are fun and wonderful. Do those things. And when you're doing those things, here's an opportunity to celebrate. The Three of Cups is such a lovely card. It's a card of friends or family or whomever getting together letting their hair down, having a drink or two, maybe 
some appetizers at the bar, wherever you may be, whatever type of social situation it is, it's a chance to share, to listen, to communicate, to feel the interaction with people that you care about or people that you work with on a daily basis. Maybe you're getting to know some newcomers. This is a chance to toast abundance and to have some fun. This week, you'll have an opportunity perhaps to go out, have some fun with your dear friends and put a smile on your face and enjoy. And again, maybe it's spontaneous. Maybe it's something that just comes up and it's like, hey, let's all get together. Let's get the gang together. And you know what? Go, go and do it. Go and enjoy it and have some fun. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the devil, major arcana, and we have temperance, also major arcana. So the devil, you know, the devil is, uh, represents our temptations, our desires, the activities that we take on that limit us, that can derail us from our plans or from our goals. And sometimes we are, you know, we are beholden to those desires. It's hard to break free from them. And I would say that, you know, here's the, the couple here, you know, maybe they're enjoying this type of um, dynamic here, that it's enjoyable and I like this. There may come a point where you decide that this isn't working, you know, the, the devil within my life and the things that I'm doing, it's not working. I'm not moving forward. I'm not um, evolving spiritually. So when you're ready to kick the devil to the curb, you know, you have to get out of those chains. You have to make the move. You have to be ready to do so. You have to have full awareness of wanting to make that change because the devil ultimately whether it's materialism, whether it's lying or cheating, um, a, a substance abuse, whatever it could be, everybody has their thing. And here is the devil who can sometimes win the battle. We have to be very precise. We have to be very committed into making changes to minimize what the devil does to us. So for this week, you know, when we're looking at the three of cups and here we're looking at temperance, there may be a very, um, simplistic message of enjoy, but don't overdo it. Don't overdo the celebration and the being with friends here. Use moderation. Think about the balance of your life. Don't go to extremes. Find the middle ground. Here's temperance, the lovely angel and the waters flowing. There's a sense of integration here of getting all the elements, my physical side, my emotional side, my spiritual and mental aspect as well. Everything's got to be in balance, finding the balance, maintaining the balance, getting enough rest, eating healthy, uh, you know, showing yourself some self-love, maybe some, uh, Epsom salt baths or things like that to help yourself to stay in balance, but really Staying in balance, it's a conscious decision where you are taking charge and where you are mindful of the balance that you need. And so here's the devil always playing with us. Here's the temperance saying, don't overdo it. Just stick to the middle ground, you know, and then the three of cups have some fun. We have this action you know, the, uh, the desire to be more active and to have things going on. And, and I think that's very powerful, but again, to weave it in within the balance of your life. So let's take a look at, uh, the Oracle card and get an affirmation card for the week. wise leader. You are a beacon for others. So I like the idea here of the flame 
and again having her spear uh, leadership and will and drive can help you get along the path here of where you want to go of the things that you want to accomplish the adventure or the excitement that you bring into your life you're the leader you know you're you're the one that is going to create this um, opportunity for enjoyment and for excitement and for experiences and that can always be very inspirational to others people can see how you're living and maybe want to emulate it and then finally I'm going to choose a card for love individuality you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do so I love that being an individual charting your own course being true and authentic to what you want to accomplish and what you want to achieve in life you know uh, there's a lot to be said for being an individual and when we're strong and confident as an individual then we can contribute that much more as a community or as a collective so Virgo this is what I have for you for the week and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading if you did uh, enjoy it then please subscribe like this video share this video comment below I hope that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week thanks so much bye bye